we have a file like the one here is an invoice PDF and we want to send it to a server using the HTTP request node. So for my use case, I wanted to send it to parse the PDF, but it can be any kind of file. It could be a voice note, images, videos, really anything. Since I struggled quite a bit to get it working, so inshallah in this video, I'll quickly show you what to do to send or upload a file to a server. So websites usually provide an example on how to use the API using the curl command. So what we need is a second one, upload image slash PDF to be OCR'd from your server or PC, since we're sending it from our N18 server. So we just need to grab that text and import it into our HTTP request node. So first we have to replace that with our API key. So to send a file, we have to send it in the send body part. So initially I thought we can just use the N8N binary file and put the name as data. But if you run it, it, it just doesn't work. It has an error message saying that um, unable, unable to recognize the file type. So later I figured out that what we need to do is to use the form data. And in that we use the n 8 binary file and put the name as file and value as data. Now we are receiving the parsed text as the response. So if you go back to the website, there are additional parameters that you can send to customize the behavior of the OCR. So let's try the second one, the overlay text. So we need a key, so we just copy paste that. So the trick is to add another parameter and keep it as form data. And you paste the key as the name and put the value that you want in the value. So right now you can see that it doesn't have the text overlay. So if this is working, we should receive the text overlay in the next response. As you can see, we received a lot more stuffs this time. So this should work for any kind of file. Let me know in the comments if you get stuck at any point or if there is any other API that you want me to cover. Inshallah, I hope to see you in the next video.